Cordae Aquinas syndrome is a neurosurgical emergency. Learn the symptoms in this video about this very serious condition that may require emergency surgery. This is Mohammed. This is Adi. This is the Neurosurgeons channel. And this is the only place where you find two neurosurgeons talking to you about everything about the brain and spine. Before we discuss the Cord Aquinas Syndrome, Let's first understand what's cord equina. The spinal cord extends from the brain all the way down to the spine and it usually ends at the level of the first or second lumbar vertebrae. The nerves then extend from the lower end of the spinal cord and they extend all the way down, which looks like a horse's tail. This is what it means in Latin, cord equina. The cord equina nerves carries nerve supply to the bladder, to the bowel, to both legs and it helps us to feel and sense in both legs and around the front and back passage. So what is Cordae Aquinas syndrome? Uh, the syndrome is a very severe and urgent illness where there is a lot of pressure on the nerves in the lower part of the spine. This can mean that the bladder, bowel or legs stop working. It's very important that whatever the cause of this is addressed quickly because this damage can be irreversible. The most common causes of Cordae Aquinas syndrome are something pushing on the nerves, most commonly this is a disc in the lower spine out of place, however it can also be caused by infection and very rarely by forms of cancer. Cordae Aquinas syndrome is very rare but it can affect adults of any age. The Cordae Aquinas syndrome has a variety of symptoms, they usually start suddenly and progress very quickly. These symptoms include severe back pain and pain which can extend to one leg or both, also includes problem with control of the bladder, this can be in the form of retaining urine with an inability to pass the urine as usual or the losing complete control of the bladder where the patient is wetting themselves. Also, they might have problem with bowel control which can be in the form of constipation or in the form of losing control of their bowel as well. Other symptoms can include saddle anesthesia which means numbness or tingling around the front or back passage or the buttock area. Also, the Cordae Aquinas syndrome can lead to problems with the sexual function where the patient might feel problems with uh, their uh, sexual activities and uh, especially with erection in males. So how is Cordae Aquinas syndrome diagnosed? Well, the main diagnosis is made by a doctor examining you but often needs an MRI scan of your spine to confirm the diagnosis. Rarely also a CT may be useful to confirm the diagnosis of Cordae Aquinas syndrome. How the Cordae Aquinas syndrome is treated depends on the cause of the Cordae Aquinas. One of the most common causes is disc prolapse, which in most of the cases will require an urgent surgery to relieve the pressure off the nerves and to help recover as much as we can from the function of the nerves. If other causes include infection or a tumour, this might need um, bigger surgery to fix the spine or might need uh, treatment for the tumour itself, which might be in the form of radiotherapy. The recovery from Cordae Aquinas syndrome is very variable. What we do know is that the longer the amount of pressure is exerted on the nerves, the less the chance the nerves will recover in the future. So any delay in the diagnosis or the treatment can lead to potentially irreversible problems with bladder, bowel, sexual function, or the function of the legs. It is possible after you've been diagnosed with Cordae Aquinas syndrome, if you are treated very quickly, that your symptoms may completely resolve. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be answering interesting questions about spine surgery.